Good evening, brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you. I testify to exalt the name of our Lord. That towards the end of the month of March, once the national quarantine had begun, I was starting to feel sick. My body was fatigued. I had a headache, pain in my entire body, pain in my joints. And after four days had passed, I noticed I had a sore throat. And on the following day, I had respiratory problems in the middle of the evening. I therefore kneeled before the Lord and I pleaded and begged him in the middle of the night that he please manifest himself and that he have mercy upon me. That if it was indeed this virus that was going on in the humanity, that he manifest himself for I needed him. And it was so how, brothers and sisters, how I began to pray, to trust in Him, to listen to the hymns, hear the Bible studies, render worships to Him. And I pleaded to God about my health, for I desire that He have mercy of my life, that He forgive all of my sins, that He forgive all of the things that perhaps He was not pleased of. And it was so how... I continued having respiratory problems accompanied by other symptoms. And there were days where I would awaken very sick because there were evenings where I couldn't sleep. And I pleaded to God greatly. There were many respiratory crises and there were various moments of difficulties and my health was deteriorating as the days went on. I had chills. My body temperature would increase. Nevertheless, I followed the recommendations of the doctors. I took acetaminophen inhalers and pills which were recommended and I was able to see the protective hand of my Lord how in the midst of a Bible study during the prayer of our sister Maria Luisa, I kneeled before the Lord and I asked him with many arguments that he deliver me from this virus and that he have mercy upon me. And I began to praise him with all of my heart, with faith and love. And I began to sweat. And I was praising the Lord even more. I would concentrate and ask him with faith. And at the end of my prayer, I realized and noticed that my clothing was filled with sweat. And I felt how the Lord had cleansed my lungs, how the Lord delivered me from all of that pain in my lungs that I had felt, that respiratory illness that I had gone through for so many days. After this, brothers and sisters, I realized that I still had a little bit of respiratory problems when the doctors told me that I needed to go to the hospital if this continued or persisted. And... It was so how I, one of the evenings, had to go to the hospital and I entered feeling very nervous because I didn't know whether I'd be able to leave that hospital and be able to see my family and my daughters. And in that very moment, I asked the Lord to please heal me, that he protect me, and that I didn't want to be in that place. And I was scared. I was fearful, but I knew that the Lord would manifest himself. And in that place, they did various tests of routine, including COVID-19, but they allowed me to leave and be self-quarantining while I was awaiting the results for COVID-19. And in those moments, I would kneel to God, asking Him to help me. And the symptoms, little by little, began to diminish. They began to change. And I felt the hand of the Lord being manifested in my health. For He is the great and powerful God, the one that did that, that work in me. And today, brothers and sisters, I am able to say and share with you those results of COVID-19 for the honor and the glory of the Lord, it came back negative. The Lord, little by little, has cleansed my body and the pain has gone away. And all of this I testify to give the honor and the glory to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, God bless you all. I would like to testify to give honor and glory to our powerful God. During these times of this pandemic and everything that is happening, 
we have been praying the Lord especially for our family as well as a few brothers and sisters whom we knew were in need. And so we prayed in detail and thoroughly reminding the Lord everything that He had spoken and everything that He had promised through our spiritual leader. For we received the beautiful prophecy in which He promised to manifest Himself and to provide everything that we needed. And so my wife and I prayed the Lord and for the honor and glory of our God. The very next day, my wife heard someone knock on the door. At that particular moment, I was by the door getting ready to head out. I was actually putting my shoes on. And so I opened the door, but no one was there. And the one thing I saw was an envelope on the floor and it had money in it. So I said to my wife, honey, here's an envelope with money that the Lord has brought us. He's brought us this money. So my wife started to cry and I, I cried with her tears of joy and happiness because we had already experienced something similar in the past a beautiful miracle that the Lord performed and well brothers and sisters through these monies we were able to buy essential things for ourselves as well as the brothers and sisters we had been praying for and I testify to give honor and glory to our God because we're not alone because we have a God who is living who is powerful and we have a spiritual leader whom God speaks to us through to show us that he is a powerful and real God Brothers and sisters, I testify to give the glory, the honor, and the praise to our Heavenly Father. I am by profession a nurse. Currently, I work by the mercy of the Lord as an intensive care coordinator of three ICUs, pediatric, neonatal, and adult. These units have something special. is that during this pandemic, they do not admit COVID patients. Since the city where I live is the only intensive care unit there is, and where I work, this type of patient cannot be admitted. The Lord told me not to fear, that I was in that place to preach His word, that I was in that place so that He could manifest Himself and glorify Himself in those people who did not know Him, that His children, whatever they are, are light, and that I was light in that place, that I should preach, and that He was going to allow them to be protected from that illness. Brothers and sisters, after the day that I received that message from God, one of my co-workers, one of my bosses tells me that she had close contact with a patient who tested positive for COVID, who was her uncle. They live in the same house, that it was impossible that she was not infected. Since in the family, there were three infected people. That person had to be isolated. And she was one of those who cared for the babies, the newborn babies and the neonites in pediatric. And apart from that, she worked with the rest of the staff who were about 50 people. In addition to this, brothers and sisters, another difficult situation came. And that is that in the other ICU that I also manage, which is the adult intensive care unit, there was a problem. They admitted a patient. Apparently, the patient did not have any symptoms for COVID, but in a few days, he began with the process of all the symptoms of the development of the disease. He had all the symptoms to say that he was a COVID patient. He had all the radiological findings that are characteristic of this type of patient. The units where I work, brothers and sisters, they do not have a specific air conditions that these patients require. They do not have a special devices that contain air and prevent the spread of the virus through it. For this reason, my staff panicked because this adult ICU patient had already been in the unit for eight days. And on the other side of the pediatric ICU, my coworker, she had been around eight days with us in the unit. For this reason, brothers and sisters, people addressed me as their coordinator, desperate, sad, and distressed. Many of them thought of giving up, but I remember the word of my God and that was the day after that our sister Maria Luisa prayed for the healthcare workers. So I preached to them 
And I said to them that I had a living and powerful God, that I attended a church, the Church of God ministry, and that the Lord had told me about this situation. So I told the Lord in that prayer that they, my staff, the one that He had recently given me, that He had made me their leader, that they were mine too. And I always tell the Lord that He is my God, that He is also there working with me, that He's my co-worker, He's my coordinator, that He may give me wisdom to lead them. Also, brothers and sisters, I prayed because you know that personal protection items are not available right now. They are scarce. I did not have these items. I did not have many of those that are required for people to protect themselves. They were very scarce. And brothers and sisters, when I finished praying, I told them to trust God, that He was going to give us an answer very soon. Brothers and sisters, with faith that God was not going to leave us alone. And these two people, brothers and sisters, they were tested. And the tests were ready in less time than is usually required. Brothers and sisters, fortunately, the answer was negative. Fortunately, these two people do not have COVID. So many of them, all of them, praise the name of our God. And they were surprised by the living and powerful God that I had. And I told them that they also can have the same God that I have, that He can be their God as well. I made the recommendations that our sister Maria Luisa gave and that God said through prophecy that even they have not yet arrived to church, they're out to pray to this powerful and living God and seek Him because this was the time to seek Him. So brothers and sisters, God left that seed planted in those hearts. And the beautiful thing also, brothers and sisters, was that after this situation, I began to receive phone calls from colleagues, from specialized doctors, that they were going to donate masks. They were going to donate high quality mouth covers. They were going to donate an acrylic box, which is a special protection to avoid contamination when we are doing the oral tracheal tubing process, protecting the airway, that I will receive many donations to my unit. So brothers and sisters, the glory, the praise, the exaltation is for this living and powerful God. I thank our sister Maria Luisa for praying for all the healthcare workers. The only hero is God. He is the one helping us. And thanks to the fact that you are mediating through your prayer, sister, I know that God has heard you and He is keeping us.